Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be installing a five gallon bucket holder from WeatherGuard, so let's get into it. The tools we use for this install are a 7 16 inch socket, socket wrench and extension, 9 16 inch wrench, drill bit, drill stop, and a power drill. Okay, so we are installing this five gallon bucket holder in a Ram ProMaster City, but this is a universal product that can go in any van um, or on a flatbed truck or a service body or a pickup truck or basically anything where you can attach three bolts to hold it down, um, you can install it in. And so the first part of uh, our installation really is just gonna be kind of figuring out where we wanna put this. Um, you know, I've got a five gallon bucket here uh, go green, go white, and um, you know, you can kind of figure out where we want this to go within our overall upfit. You know, you've got different options. You can put this wherever you want as long as it's a safe location to put some holes in. Now, in this van, we have D rings. There's one back here. We could put a D ring, I think, through one of these bolts, and there we have one of our, our points. Um, but then it's just kind of in the middle of our cargo area and that doesn't really make sense. So my recommendation is find a, a good spot for it that's going to be, make it easy for you out in the field. You only have to install this once, but you're going to use it every day. So put it in a location um, that's going to work for you. Per the instructions, WeatherGuard says you only have to really mount in two of these holes for, for a good uh, secure install. I think we're going to do all three just so you can see what that process looks like. Um, but you really only need two. And the other thing is on this van, we have our uh, ProMaster City uh, install shelving bracket kit. And this little leg, you know, I could slide this under here and there's a hole in the bottom of this bracket where I could put a carriage bolt through there and then secure it. And then one of my, one of my legs is secured that way. Um, so you have some options to maybe find some existing uh, locations where you could you could uh, secure the five gallon bucket holder to and and be on your way but again take the time to figure out the best location for where you're going to use it out in the field you know what I think makes sense is to have it here right by this opening door you still have basically the entire door access into this it doesn't get into our open cargo area we have in the side here and it's just gonna make it super easy when you're you know curbside on the van come over here grab your bucket whatever's in there and uh, be on your way. So this is really the location that I want to put it. Um, the next thing that we really want to figure out once we figured out um, where we want to install this is a safe drilling location. We have to go into the floor and the way the installation works, we put a hole through the floor, unless there's an existing hole. Then we're going to put in a plus nut, uh, sometimes it's called like a rib nut. Um, but this is just a little uh, sleeve, essentially, that's gonna go through the hole. Then we're gonna use a tool to uh, compress this together and it forms a little tight uh, compression on the sheet metal and it gives you a mounting location to put a bolt through and secure it to the floor. So um, that's really part um, of figuring out where we're gonna put this is where can we drill a hole. Now I've done the investigation already on this van uh, for safe location and I did find uh, some spots here that are going to be safe. So what we're gonna do is just figure out exactly where we're gonna put this. Um, I determined that I didn't wanna go through this th side threshold and I did wanna go through the actual sheet metal in the floor. I'm gonna get this as close as I can over here, make sure my bucket will still fit and have clearance around that and uh, get this in a good location. Then I'm gonna take um, something to basically mark where these holes are. Now, um, I just have a piece of chalk here because it's the only thing I could find because I need a mark on this black um, floor. And so I'm just going to use this chalk to make three marks where these holes are going to go. If you have a grease pen or something like that, you can also use that. Now once I remove this, I can see where my little holes are. I'm just going to reinforce these holes, these markings, so I can be sure I'm going in the right spot. Drill once, measure twice, I'm just going to verify everything's still here it's in the good spot. Yeah, 5 16 inch drill bit. I do have a drill stop on here. Uh, this is definitely a recommendation because you are going to be going through sheet metal. You don't want this. Once you kind of get through the sheet metal, the drill is just going to slide forward. And there is exhaust and some other things that's a little bit deeper. And I want to make sure that I'm just going through this floor here or this 
uh, black floor and then the sheet metal and that's it. So I have a drill stop in here to make sure I don't go any further. This is just a cheap one that you can get. Um, there's different versions of what this looks like. So we're gonna get ready to drill our holes. All right, so I'm just gonna test fit these plus nuts. They all fit in here good. All right, perfect. WeatherGuard gives you a little tool like this. It's the only black bolt and this weird looking thing inside the uh, bag, the hardware bag. And we're gonna take our long black bolt. We're gonna put a washer on the end of it. I'm gonna go through here with the kind of nut side of this tool towards the bolt side of the tool um, or hex side of the tool or bolt. So the way that this works is you actually thread this bolt into the plus nut when it's set. You thread it all the way in and you're gonna see that these, the kind of the head of the plus nut and the serrated edge of this tool are gonna make contact. And the tool actually holds the plus nut from spinning and then uh, use one wrench to hold this tool uh, in place and then you're going to torque the actual bolt head and it's going to compress this sleeve and it's going to make a nice tight compression up against the sheet metal and that's the way that the plus nut is set. Um, so to get it ready we're just going to thread this in all the way, push it through the hole. So we're going to put our 9 16 inch wrench to hold the tool in place and then I have a 7 16 inch socket that's going to go on to the bolt. We'll hold this in place and uh, torque that plus nut. I'm using a impact, but you can also do this by hand. Works the same way. This is just a little bit quicker. Doesn't take too much to get it in there. We have our plus nut set there. And we'll do the same thing for the rest of these. So now that we got all three of our plus nuts set, we're gonna take our three bolts out of the hardware bag, our three washers, and our three lock nuts. Now, or yeah, lock washers. Now they do give you three, uh, you know, nylock lock nuts here that if you can, uh, get access to the other side of what you're mounting this to. Maybe you're on a flatbed or a pickup truck or something like that and you can actually access the other side of these holes. You can just use these uh, nuts right here and you don't have to worry about the plus nuts. Probably should have said that before you uh, drilled a bunch of holes in the, in the vehicle, but that is an option with these as well. So the way we're doing this, it's like your typical locking pattern. So you got your bolt, your lock washer, then your washer. And we're gonna go through these holes into our nuts. I get these lined up. All right, so this is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. We didn't warp it or anything like that. Our bucket fits in there just fine. So uh, pretty simple install. The hardest part is just getting those nuts set. And if you, you don't need to use a blind fastener or a plus nut, all the better, um, makes it a little bit easier. But nice little addition to help keep our five gallon buckets secure. Now, if you're looking for this product or any other equipment to make your van work ready, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Hey, my name is Ryan and have a good one.